Hi Aquarius, welcome to the Gypsy's Tower. We are doing your love reading for the week. I hope I'm finding you well. Remember, if this reading resonates, to so please hit like and subscribe. And if not, you can book a reading with me at the Gypsy's Tower, linked below in the description. Okay Aquarius, let's see what you guys need to know this week in general or in love. We've got Drowning Rock Bottom Defeated Overextended. We have eyes on you, studying you, looking you up, snooping and spying, and tiptoeing, moving in silence, on thin eyes, approaching carefully. Whoa, <laughs> this person is hit rock bottom, obviously. Um, they feel defeated by the relationship in some form, which I feel like it's over them because this person's hiding right now and trying to tiptoe towards you. What else does Aquarius need to know about this energy? We have coming in fast, fast action, racing against time, not wasting time. We have career focused, career over love, finance goals, love in the workplace, and hopeful, optimistic, inspired, clear headspace. So some of you may be finding love in the workplace. This could be coming in very fast. Maybe you are choosing work over love at this time. Um, and you're very hopeful and optimistic about true love coming in. But your intuition may be telling you that this person is behind the scenes um, looking for you. Okay. <laughs> They're moving in silence and trying to approach you carefully. They do have an addiction to you for sure, okay? They're codependent and they're obsessed. What is this overextended and coming in fast, fast action? So I feel like if this person did you wrong too, their karma is coming in very quickly. We have lightning, sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Yeah, I feel like um, whatever's coming in for you is coming in fast in a good way, and for them, not so much. Then we have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So this person sees that you're loving yourself right now. You are career-focused. Um, you're working towards your goals, and they are watching. What else do we need to know here? We have the butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, and growth. At the bottom, we have paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Now, don't get upset if I say this person, that you might take this person back. This could have been a situation where this person needed to be put in their place. But I do see you in general manifesting love at this time. Happiness, expansion, and joy. The butterfly representing transformation and this sudden change in your life that's, that has you going towards something that's better for you and making you optimistic about the changes in this person or within yourself. Okay, let's take a look at the tarot. What does Aquarius need to know? Yeah, it's like you're working hard right now and someone is maybe juggling whether or not they should come towards you. But I feel like this could also be you. Like, do I want to focus on love right now? I don't know. So let's see what Aquarius needs to know about them and the other person coming towards them. What do you need to know, Aquarius? You've got the Queen of Wands. You're inspired. You're creative. You're beautiful. You're taking good care of yourself. Or you could be dealing with someone like this. You're releasing burdens in your life. You're going to the next phase. Some of you could be physically moving. Who's coming towards Aquarius? The Seven of Pentacles. Could be an earth sign, but I see that this person sees growth in you. Also potential. And the Five of Pentacles. So they are feeling left out. They feel like a door is closed in their face. Or they could also feel like you're out of their league with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Ooh. What is happening between Aquarius and this energy? The Five of Wands. So there could be a lot of push and pull in this energy there could be a lot of dramatic fighting or things like that we'll see the world yeah you close the cycle on whatever this is you don't have time for it you feel like you're not going to compete um but someone does want to compete for you that's what i'm getting here mm -hmm. they're kind of getting restless is the energy that i'm getting and you're glowing up yes Let's see what the outcome is, and then we'll clarify. What does Aquarius need to know about this energy? What is the outcome? The Queen of Swords. There you are. 
at the bottom you've got the two of cups so there is new love you've, you're kind of you've turned your back on something that was exhausting you that was too much that was a burden you had to lay at your feet you're like this new energy with the butterfly you're inspired people see the growth in you and they know they need to be where they are okay that that door is closed on them for a reason mm -hmm. all right aquarius let's see what is the queen of wands with the Ten of Wands. Some of you might have even kicked someone out. We got the Queen of Wands clarifying the Queen of Wands. So like I said, you're very inspired. You're taking this leadership role on. You're very creative. Taking good care of yourself health-wise. Physical attraction. Maybe some of you are working out. We got the King of Cups here now. So this is someone who's probably coming into your love life now, if they haven't already. We got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom. So this was destiny. It was fated. And you also have good luck on your side. Um, this was actually the card for the week for everyone. This person's very loving towards you. They have a healing energy. They're very passionate as well. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is also could be a Scorpio for some of you. What's this Ten of Wands? The Ace of Wands. It's like, again, you're laying some burden to rest. You're over it. You're done. And you have new inspiration. And you're holding it to yourself. It's like a new passion for yourself and for your life. But I feel, too, it could be a water sign coming in. Maybe even a, you have air, water, and fire. That could be coming into your love life very soon. What's the Seven of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles? It's almost like this person shooting themselves in the foot. Mm-hmm, the Two of Cups. But what I like about this Two of Cups is that it's one cup. You know, they're sharing this one cup. So I'm getting that someone is remorseful that there's growth with you and another person versus them. That that door is now closed and there's no going back. So this person, this new person you're dealing with is, I feel, very invested in the relationship and likes where it's going with you. And is falling in love with you hard with the King of Cups and the Two of Cups. And then we get justice. You could have met this person during Libra season or they could be Libra. Um... But things are getting off on the right foot with the Page of Pentacles, okay? I feel like it is grounded. It's something that you want to chase and go after or vice versa. This person wants to chase after you. But I feel like they're trying to be patient with the Seven of Pentacles. What's the Five of Pentacles? The Seven of Pentacles again. So yeah, growth in a new direction. And look at how it's growing up into this energy. It's going to be very balanced. Whoever's coming towards you in love, it's balanced. What is the Five of Wands? There could be some people fighting for your attention at this time. The Two of Swords. And the Queen of Pentacles. Whoa! And then we have the World card here again signifying that I feel when one door closes, another one opens. And it's this new passion in you. It's this inspiration. Not only that, you're very career focused. Um, but someone could be in two minds about this. And I kind of mentioned that in the beginning of the reading where you may be in between focusing on work and love, but you are very inspired at this time. And someone is looking at you as this person that they want to marry, build a family with, have a strong foundation with, someone that they can trust. Mm -hmm. So what's the world card? I like how she's looking up at it inspired. The Two of Wands, so taking this action that you need, you're not holding back anymore with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like there could be someone that was clinging to your energy. They could have been in denial about it. Mm -hmm. But worlds are opening up for you. Doors are opening up for you. And some of you, like I said, could have a couple of options in love. And you're ready to take action on that soon with the Ace of Wands being here. What is the Queen of Swords? It's like you've made your choice, what's done is done. Your heart might still be a little bit closed off because if you notice, her cup is locked into this cage. But you know you're making the right choices for yourself. We got the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you put some things to bed and you've removed these mental, um, I want to say ailments. So I feel like you really felt like you were in your head for a while. And then we get this Queen of Cups. So there's a divine match. Mm-hmm. And it is. It's helping you see that you do want to open up to love again. That you're ready. What's the outcome? The King of Swords. So now we have two divine matches. So the King and Queen of Swords. The King and Queen of Cups. And then we get this beautiful Ace of Cups. Which I'm going to take. And then the Empress energy. 
So like I said, this is someone that's going to treat you like the man or the woman you are. All right. They know what they want. King and queen of swords. And they're ready to open their hearts. Both of you are. Yep. With the king and queen of cups, it's healing. It's intuitive. You'll know that this is for you. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's see what else you need to know about this love situation this week. And some of you could work with this person. Mm -hmm. Whoa. It says perfect match, great chemistry, highly compatible, quick connection, straw into gold, alchemy, receiving what was lost, creating something out of nothing and wasting time, not worth waiting for, prolonging the inevitable, nothing will good, nothing good will come of it. So yeah, there is someone around that's in this negative emotions and has this anger and resentment because since you've closed the door and these new ones are opening up for you, they can see you glowing. They can see that you're in this like, I don't know divine energy and it can't be touched and you do have new loving and it starts with what loving yourself but again i feel like you're sharing this cup with someone that you hold very dear to your heart what else does aquarius need to know about this for the week we have music music brings them closer to you certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them Stuck in a loop, a pattern has become familiar to them and they're wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating with release. When you, when they set you, or hold on, when they set you free, they felt the sting from your absence. Don't let their silence fool you. So it could have been that they released you too. Whichever way it goes, this person's very uh, nostalgic at this time. But I feel like you're inspired and you're moving fast. And then we have, they're leaving things up to chance. And hoping the universe will intervene and bring the two of you together. And I kind of see that with the world and the two of wands. But this is going to be the new person coming in. They're hoping for the same thing you are. Let's get your love oracles. Aquarius. What do they need to know? Aquarius. So the first thing we have is acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Which is what I get with the... Um, Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. It's like, what's done is done. You, you really left that chapter behind. And then we have transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things, which I'm seeing here too. So I hope that you enjoyed this reading, Aquarius. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I love, love, love you. Bye.